Hello there guys, it's Joel here, aka Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel for a new haul video. Today is a very, very exciting haul video, as this video is sponsored by the guys over at Flannels. Now, I talk about flannels all the time here on my channel, but if you are new, then, and you don't know what it is, Flannels is one of the UK's leading luxury retailers. They started in the north of England, and now they have 37 stores across the UK, including one of their most recent ones, which is the flagship store in central London, just on Oxford Street, which I had the pleasure of visiting quite a few times and it is beautiful so if you're ever around um, Oxford Street, Central London, go and check out the Flannels store. They also have flannels.com which offers everything they do in store but just to the world. And I've got some really nice pieces to show you today that I picked out um, from their site so I'm very very excited to show you. If you are new here and this is your first video don't forget to click that subscribe button or hit the bell for notifications so that you know when I bring out a new one. Flannel's brand portfolio includes some of the hottest emerging names but also including some of Luxury's biggest names including Balenciaga, Valentino, Saint Laurent, Off-White, Stone Island, Burberry, Balmain, you name it, they have it. Um, and also a lot of new brands as well, which we're gonna talk about one of their new brands that they're stocking today. So along with all the big names that they stock, they also stock a lot of new names as well, so that's one I wanna talk about first, um, because one of the first pieces I've chosen from Flannels it is the Alix Night Rider puffer jacket. And oh my days, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Honestly, in real life, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but it looks like this is velvet. It looks almost shiny. Um, it's not velvet, it's like, it's like a puffer jacket, it's like that same feel when you touch it, but it looks like velvet, like I don't know how they've managed to do that, but it is beautiful. I picked it up in a large, Alix is a really, really nice brand, I love the direction they're going in. The designer from Alix, Matthew Williams, has just gone over to Givenchy, um, and he also collaborated with Kim Jones um, for Dior and has, work and has worked his famous roller coaster buckle into a lot of pieces. Um, so it's very, very iconic. That's why it's great to have the roller coaster buckle here on the neck, which is a really, really nice touch. So you kind of have this like high neck with the buckle. You could take this off if you wanted to as well. It's just attached by little loops, which is a really, really nice detail. It has a detachable hood, so you can take it off um, if you want to wear it without. It's got pockets, um, which have little poppers inside as well. You've also got like a sneaky zip pocket here on the inside of the jacket too. There's loads and loads of nice little touches um, and details included on the jacket. It's just like a stunning, stunning piece and it retails, it's on the Flannels website at the moment for 790 pounds. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on. Next up, now you know I love Balenciaga. Um, actually, Flannels, last time I checked, still had one of these left. Um, the Balenciaga Speed Hunters hoodie um, in a medium, I think, last time I checked. Um, obviously, if you're watching this video after the day it came out, it might not still be there. So this one was more like band t-shirt inspired, and the next one is inspired by keeping up with the Kardashians. They're not made to look like the Kardashians, but it's very like keeping up with the Kardashians kind of pictures. I think it's a step up for my Speed Hunters t-shirt which I've worn to death which a lot of you on my channel will know including this hoodie as well but I don't care because I love them. So I thought why not bring a new addition to the family with this Balenciaga tee. I think it's so so cute. I love the print. It's really oversized and they've used a really soft cotton for the t-shirt so it's very very nice to touch. It's quite warm. Um, now that London's getting a bit colder I will be wearing this a lot more but recently it was too hot to wear it so um, just keep that in mind if you are thinking of purchasing it. Now, next up from Alix is a bag. It is the Alix Brie tote bag. This is the crocodile effect version. They have a plain version as well. You know, I love my little bags. This comes with a strap as well, so you can wear it cross body. I even like that it's got little handles on it, so you can just hold it like that as well. That's what I do with a lot of my bags, like my Prada bag, which I also got 
from flannels. So you also get the buckle detail on the tote bag as well, which fastens the whole bag at the top. It's got silver hardware for the strap. So you can take the strap off and just put it back inside the bag if you wanted. And the buckle is black with kind of gold detailing. It's a really, really good size. Um, a lot of my bags have been known for not fitting very much in, whereas this is something that you can fit a lot in. Plus I love the boxy kind of construction. It's just a really nice addition and you know I'm a sucker for anything croc. Um, this kind of faux croc is stunning. So th here's a little montage of the bag as well. And finally, probably my favorite piece out of these four, even though they're all stunning and beautiful, I've had my eye on this one for a really, really long time, and I just think it's gorgeous, it is a jacket from Balenciaga. It's kind of like Balenciaga's version of a Windrunner. Um, it's, it's quite thin material, and I don't know if you can tell from here, but the material has Balenciaga kind of printed on it in the same color. It's a really casual, casual piece, but it's also like, high end, like that's the kind of juxtaposition that I really love with Balenciaga. It's got a really high neck, it's got a zip that goes all the way down. It has got little toggles so you can tighten it because it's a very, it's a wide boy, it's a wide boy. I got it in a 50. It also came with a Balenciaga hanger when I ordered it online, which I was very, very happy about. <laughs> so it's got Balenciaga printed here on the front as well and it's got it embroidered on the back. Um, but other than that, it's very, very kind of like subtle. It's like a really elevated piece of casual clothing and I just think it's beautiful. So here is what it looks like on. So that is it for my luxury haul. I want to thank the guys at Flannels for sponsoring this video. I really want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite piece was, what your thoughts were on Balenciaga as a brand or Alix as a brand. Don't forget the links are in the description box below and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.